I can't get to sleep I think about the implication Of diving in too deep And possibly the complication Especially at night I worry over situations I know we'll be alright Perhaps it's just imagination Day after day it reappears Night after night my heartbeat shows the fear Ghosts appear and fade away Alone between the sheets Only brings exasperation It's time to walk the street Smell the desperation At least there's pretty lights And though there's little variation It nullifies the night From over kill Day after day it reappears Night after night my heartbeat shows Justin here. Today we are checking out Overkill by Men at Work, but kind of closer to the Colin Hay acoustic version, which is uh, a tone lower. So I'm going to teach it to you in this key. If you want to play along with the original recording, you need to put a capo on the second fret and then play the same thing. Now we're in double drop D tuning. Now I'll just rip it back up to regular tuning. Quickly first. So you can see how easy it is. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to use the fourth string here as a reference to tune the two outside strings down one tone. So we play that one. Till it's a D. Always a good idea to tune up to a note. Don't tune just down to it because then sometimes when you pull the string through it drops down quite a bit. Particularly this low E string. So. See, I got to it and then I went lower. You often see people who don't do that. And then when they start actually playing, that the, the drop D gets a little lower and a bit out of tune. So that's the first thing. Uh, means that when we play like a regular D chord, we don't need to put our second finger down. We get this big, glorious D5 chord. But that's not what we're using for this. Let's get to a close up and check out the chords. So we start off with this D chord, which is our first finger, fifth fret of the fifth string, tip of that finger muting the thicker string as well, third finger, seventh fret on the fourth string, open third string, little finger down on the seventh fret of the second string, and an open thinner string. It is a lovely sounding chord, this one. It's basically a D, but then we've added a fourth in there, and the second one is just a, uh, it's not even a ninth, it's just another D note, but sounds lovely and full that that chord beautiful uh, so it's a D D add four I guess we'll call it now the second chord it's an A with a C sharp bass uh, but Colin gets it just by dropping the first finger back to the C sharp so everything stays the same first finger drops back so it's the third of the chord root note the uh, uh, flat seven a six and an eleven so it's an A thirteen I guess we should call it technically. A13 over C sharp. It doesn't matter, it's just like an it's an A chord with a C sharp on the bottom. But you could hear we could play it like if we want to simplify it, we go I could sleep at night then C and worry over G da 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 but he does this nice thing with the bass. You see here. Starting off with the D, then we've got the A with a C sharp bass. Now we've back to the first shape but down two frets, so we started there, now we've got this one which is a C add 9, I guess, technically. But again, it's just a C chord with some extra uh, color tones kind of thing. Uh, and then first finger drops back again. Now this one, this is a G chord. That's the, uh, the B, which is the third of the chord. <coughs> the root, a doubling of the root. We've got there an E note, so that's the... Um, so I guess this is a G6, technically. 
doesn't matter, like I said, it really doesn't matter these technical names of the chords, it's just this. And I can't get to sleep. I think about the implication of diving in too deep. And possibly the complications. But you don't really need to be playing those full chords, particularly at the beginning. Uh, you don't want to just blast it all. And part of the, the beauty of using these kind of rich chords in drop D is having a contrast between the verses and the choruses, something I talk about a lot. But you really hear it when Colin's playing it doing a live acoustic version because you hear the verses are very muted. So we've got this... So it's just heavy palm mute there on the sitting the palm of your hand there sitting on the strings but you've got an accent on one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and definitely worth practicing that because that pattern really it's got a lot of movement in it one two and three and four and one two and three and four one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one Once you've got that pattern and you've got the, the rhythmic accent correct of it, uh, you can start opening it up and then using the, some up picks in between to get pull out some of those extra notes. keeping that pulse consistent making sure you're locked into the groove as well and not trying to go too fancy and then getting yourself out of time right so really important that you stay keep yourself in time keep the hand moving keep the pulse there and if you want to start adding in some of those extra up picks on the open strings later in the song you can i wouldn't suggest you do that at the beginning first verse i'd keep it pretty straight just even maybe just those you know the uh, fifth and fourth strings sounds good if you want to get it you want to get into a little bit of that third string that's okay too i wouldn't go too much further than that for that whole first verse though i think it sounds a lot better to have it uh yeah a little bit more subtle and it means that it opens up a bit when you get to the uh day after day it reappears uh which the chord is this another beautiful lush chord here this is a b minor uh, it's got an added flat six i suppose but just a B minor chord with some fancy color tones, so I wouldn't worry about it more than that. So, day after day, it so uh, here, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Just down, down, up, up, down, strumming, keep it simple. Uh, you can target. So here I'm targeting thinner string, second string doesn't really matter it's the same note actually uh, and then when we go to the A now I don't think that Colin does this on the on the uh, acoustic versions he tends to pump that and then he does a little riff a sus to the nine that's uh, third fret second string open fourth fret on the third string but I hear that saxophone line really clearly just because this song uh, is one I grew up with and I, I can hear that. And then, then I've got the, the little riff that Colin plays, but... Here, da, 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 it's the saxophone line. So I'm playing, I'm lifting the bar of my A chord up to get the thinner string. And just playing thinner string, second string, third string, fourth string. But while I'm still trying to keep the beat. a really nice one this is a it's an a7 sus a9 sus i guess this is the a note it would normally be this shape but because we've tuned that string down a step we have to move it up a step so we got third finger seventh fret thicker string muting the fifth string seventh uh, fifth fret with the first finger seventh fret with the little finger and then two open strings and it drops down, little finger drops down one fret to the second finger in the sixth fret, third string. 
same exact movement down at the second fret. So first finger is in the second fret. Uh, third finger is going to be in the fourth fret. This is an F sharp seven. Sus. And then again, it just drops down. To a G, which we only need third finger on the fifth fret of the thicker string, muting the fourth string. All of the other strings can be open. Okay, so B minor. Some of the uh, later verses, it, we get a different um, fight another day, I think is the line that occurs there. Particularly if you've built it up correctly. So if you're going to start the verses with this, keep it right down. I think about the implication D, do A with a C sharp bass, C, and then it's going to G with B bass, keeping it really nice and tight. Heavy palm muting with an accent It keeps the build up nice And now we're going to into the chorus It's getting bigger than we got the sax And a riff from that really big chorus with the open strings ringing out back to our palm beauty thing for the second verse but again I'd start bringing out bring it up a little bit try and keep the pulse just building it up a little bit for, so it doesn't get too boring where you're going to kind of chill it out a little bit and your mate's going to have a take a solo over and that's the way that you develop the song and again oh, so I just noticed there that my close-up camera decided to turn itself off after the first minute and a bit of that uh, filming session which was really helpful just one more time through those chords the verse progression is the D A with a C sharp bass C, G with a B bass, and it's just that. But remember, you don't have to worry too much about all of that if you're going to do it nice and small. So you don't have to worry about trying to keep that little finger down and doing a big stretch doing it that way. Chorus, B minor. D after D reappears A. That little riff. If you want to add that in, B minor. Then the A7 sus. Okay, little finger dropping back to F sharp. Sus, resolving, and going to G, then A, with the sus form. I really hope you enjoyed learning this tune. It's a really nice one to play on your own if you want to get the vocal together. Uh, as long as you stay away from that super high octave that Colin does for the last verse, relatively easy one to sing as well. Uh, especially if you've got the, if you can get that rhythm together to be able to play those that accent passage and sing over the top of it. I think it sounds 
pretty cool. Uh, do remember to go and check out the live versions of Colin playing this. There's plenty of them over on YouTube doing this very acoustic version. Uh, and check him out live if you get the chance, man. He's fantastic live. Great songwriter. Uh, you know, still active as well. Still writing new materials. Still touring a lot. Incredible singer. You know, great personality live. So do go and check out his website. See if you can, uh, if he's playing in a town near you, you definitely want to go and catch it. Uh, yeah, plenty, other, or plenty more Men at, Men at Work songs. There's one other Men at Work song. I bet you can guess what that one is over on the website if you want a bit more of that as well. You take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for more very soon. Bye-bye.